I don't think Chris Noth knew what he was getting into when he said <laughs> yes to Sex in the City. Um, and, you know, I think Chris Noth is one of these instances, and I don't want to say Chris Noth is Mr. Big, but Chris Noth definitely, like, he, he brought a lot, of, a lot of himself to that character. And, you know, he's, he is, um, you know, I, I thought that he was, first of all, the character itself is like the guy who won't commit, the unattainable guy. Um, and Chris really understood that character so well, you know, and there were times when he would basically, he'd give us notes and say, no, he'd say it like this, or it's, you know, he was very invested in the character. He brought this just sense of humor and, you know, to the guy. Um, and, um, you know, there was a real Mr. Big who I knew that the character is very much based on. It's public knowledge. His name is Ron Galati, and I was a very good friend with Ron and Candace at the time they were dating. And, um, you know, I, I brought some of my understanding of Ron to the character. And, but that is a, that Mr. Big character, and the reason you can call him Mr. Big, why he doesn't need a name, is because he's just an archetypal male character. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole idea. The, the archetypal male who will not commit. And I think um, he uh, especially lives in New York. Where, you know, and I think where there's so many options. Um, and I think Chris really, he got a great, he just got a great handle on that character and he understood how to make him sort of romantic. And Chris has a very old fashioned quality that I love that he, that he brought to Mr. Big. I love John in a Northern Exposure. Mm -hmm. And we originally um, thought about Aiden it was, um, as Aiden Quinn. We had him in mind. In fact, that's why we called him Aiden. Mm -hmm. But um, I loved, I loved John on Northern Exposure. I loved this sort of like laid back qualities from West Virginia. He was like the anti-New York guy. He's made furniture and he would be like, just, you know, he was, he, you know, he wasn't complicated and he was real and, um, and he was just such a great foil to a character like Mr. Big. When Kyle started doing the show, I was, I mean, I was a big Kyle McLaughlin fan of his movies and I was like a little starstruck that Kyle McLaughlin was doing Sex in the City. Um, and, you know, Trey is just, is such a character and such a creation and I think representative of like these hot house flowers that live in New York and, and um, from, you know, from wealth and that sort of waspy, that sort of, um, uh, waspy kind of um, crazy, uh, comedically crazy guy. Um, but Kyle really brought, I mean, that, certainly that is not Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was a, uh, you know, he just, he, you know, he's, he's a terrific actor, I think in a way, um, underrated in the sense that he, I think people know how good he is. He just really brought some. He he understood the humor of that of that role, and and um, how to make it like, how to make that that character come to life in a, re, in a very kind of like real way. David we brought in as like as as you know romantic interest for Miranda, and they were just so good. We had to just keep. He was so good, we just have to keep bringing him back and bringing him back and, you know, growing the role. You know, one thing about the character of Steve is that the idea that these are women who are um, really successful, and Miranda especially, a car you know, a woman who's um, more successful than the guy that she's dating and sort of the, the sort of problems that brings to a relationship and how that creates its own sort of set of difficulties. Um, and I think that's one thing, you know, we were always exploring with, you know, Steve and and Miranda. And, you know, David is just, is a different kind of New York, you know, salt of the earth New Yorker. Mm -hmm. And, um, and brought, 
just so much, I think, just heart to the show. Willie's hilarious. Um, and Stanford was a character that came from the column uh, that was, you know, that, that was um, loosely based on a friend of Candace Bushnell's. First of all, um, we wanted a, a bestie for Carrie that wasn't a girl, and it was like um, uh, a gay guy who was just plugged into everything in New York, but at the beginning was a little bit of a Broadway Danny Rose gay guy, in terms gay character in terms of, um, you know, he wasn't like this idea, and he, he was not like the gay characters that you see that are always like so, you know, just gorgeous and, you know, hunky, and this was a guy that was sort of like, um, not that was having his own struggles in terms of like love and relationships and um and uh was always i mean always a fun character to write and just added like just a real just like another real new york flavor mm -hmm. to the show